Hey everybody, how are you doing? So I wanted to show you um, a cool tool that I think will help with productivity. And I used to use this when we had a photography staff to keep them on track and to keep record of the hours. It's basically, it's basically like a time clock. So it is called Toggle. Let me show you. T-O-G-G-L-E, Toggle Timer. And you can do it on the desktop or on your phone. I find when it's on the desktop running, which you might want to set it up on the desktop, that's hard to say a lot of times, at first, but I find when it's running on the desktop, it slows the computer down. So I recommend that you keep track actually on your phone. So basically what you do is you're going to click it. And so I broke my day. I decided that I would like it if I could get to the point where I was working on the business 24 hours a week. Okay, so that's about four to six hours a day, depending on how many days I want to work. If I want to work six days, five days, seven days, three days, whatever. Um, but basically saying like, this is what I would like for my life. I would like to get that time in and then the rest of the time do other things, spend with my family, um, you know, go do trips, that kind of thing. Um, and so I think it's good if you decide how many hours do you want to work on it? Cause then we kind of realize, well, I can't have crazy, and my husband's doing it too. He's working too. So I can't have too crazy of expectations or you can kind of see, well, where would I need to outsource or what are the main priorities? So I broke my week into this 24-hour segment and then I broke it into three or four hours per thing. Like, so I said, let me show you. I took a picture. I made a, um, wrote it out and then I took a picture. Okay, so... I put that I thought I would spend about five hours on one-on-one -on -one calls a week, one hour on the team call, three hours a week on recruiting. So that could be um, talking to people that were interested in coaching on the phone, um, could be inviting, could be going to a gym and saying, hey, you know, whatever. Could be working on the webinar, freemiums, um, training. So this is training, okay? So let's go here. So I want to do three hours a week of training, and this will help us be balanced too. Um, now you aren't going to have all this. Like when you first start, really, you just need to invite, 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 add people, connect with them and invite and be inviting to coaching opportunities so you can build a team. Once you build a team, you'll go for, forward. So, um, I am working on training. So what I do is this is toggle and I'll push start and then I don't have one yet. I just started this last night. So I'll put them in the new project is training. Thank you. Uh, the new project is training, and I'll push add. And so now you see the timer at the top clicking. So now I'm like, okay, I have to be really efficient with my time because if I go to the bathroom and, you know, I'm running or I'm walking around on my phone, scrolling and blah, 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 blah. If, the, if I'm not training or if I'm not working on a freemium, if I'm not inviting, then there's no time in my week that is just for scrolling. Like that's not productive time. So I have to click stop because that's not part of what I said is the most important to move my business forward. So I have to push stop um, if that's the point and I'm, and I'm off task. So what, what I'm hoping this will do is, you know, let's push stop and I'll go back and look at my reports. So I can see I have spent, I put the kids' school in there too because I'm like, you know what? I really need to spend four hours a day on their schoolwork and because I homeschool. And I don't want it to just be me getting frustrated and doing dishes while I tell them to do their schoolwork. I need this to be concentrated time so I really know how much time is me getting frustrated and overwhelmed and how much time is me spending time with them. So I have that in there. So you can see this is since last night. I've spent two hours on the freemium. I'm doing a video just a second. Two hours on a freemium. Um, 16 minutes on, I did a little video, like inspiration video. Um, and then it hasn't registered the training cause I haven't, um, been, you know, done a lot with that. It's probably this three other projects, um, is probably where that falls. Um, so now I can see, like I put three hours, three or four hours for freemium. Now I'm like, okay, I have like an hour where I need to kick it into high gear and get this freemium done and then once that's done that time has run out like the three hours per day I need to evaluate 
how time sensitive is this? Is it so time sensitive that I need to work more than the 24 hours the week during the week? Or do I need to take that away from, or like maybe I had like a project part, do I need to overlap that time into the projects? Or do I need to just say, you know what? I did what I'm going to do for this week with this. So this is going to be tabled. You know, then you can kind of, you know, decide. So once again, this is called toggle. And I just, I really suggest that everybody tries it because I think we think a lot of times we're doing more work than we are. And you're not going to push start and stop if it's like worrying and being frantic and clicking around. Start and stop is for started doing a behavior that's efficient and stop doing a behavior. I hope this helps you guys once again. It is, the app is Toggle and it's spelled T-O-G-G-L.